Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to try something here. I'm just doing this for my own benefit, so I figured I'd record it and see if it amounts to anything. Um, so I want to compare my uh, my builds to the ownership as it kind of comes out and make an assessment of what our lineups look like once the slate locks. So it's two minutes until lock, and we have, you know, everything's entered already. And just to let you guys know what I did, this is the LCS uh, slate. And we have the uh, the contests already saved over here. We're playing 35 in the Shock Blast and one in the Triumphant Warrior. And when we click through this, we could see what we have here. And we have... Oh, in contests, sorry. So in contests, in lineups, we have... I guess we'll look at exposure first. So... Uh, team stacks, we have 48% NRG, 37% DIG, 34% C9, 31.4% FlyQuest, 28% SR, and then uh, a little bit of these others, almost zero of, of IMT. And we do have all four threes. Now we break that down uh, for, uh, with four stacks. We have... Uh, Pretty much four ways, you know, NRG, D, uh, DIG, SR, and C9. So we're pretty well spread out, actually. And the way these things are projecting, C9 rates to be uh, clearly the best play. So I'm probably getting some leverage doing this, I think. But what we have to do is see what the ownership looks like. Um, let me pull this up. And the slate probably locked just two seconds ago. So we're able to compare, but to show you where I had these ownerships at the beginning, uh, we had, see, all these C9s up at the top and then FlyQuest. So to kind of fade those, you know, it's not, it's not bad. And so what I want to do is I want to see what our lineups look like and what the ownerships look like and see if we got unique or anything like that. Um, cause that's the only way you can really judge these things is not based on results, but on, um, but you know how it looks before the slate starts. Now, the other thing I have going on here is I have this pick six that I have to sweat in like six minutes, but we'll get to that. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to, um, what you call it? I got to pull up the slate and then we'll download the, um, the contest file because that'll save the ownerships for us. Shock blast. I don't want to peek too much. So let's uh download these. So what we're gonna do is first thing we're, we're gonna compare ownership and then we're gonna upload these to sports projections and see how unique we got. So we have a little tool here. First we're gonna save these to our ownership file. One of these days, I'll put it up here on the site. Just, and then I have this macro here in this other sheet. I'll show you how this works. That compares the actual ownership um, to the projected ownership. So give us an idea of how we did, as far as at least our projections go show you that so we'll go under settings we'll go here to league of legends and here it is. run and now it's going to show you to show me how we did and so for example we did so it's rating the guys based on where we missed the most so FBI, we missed by 12%. Jojo Young, we missed by 34%. Tomo, we missed by 12 I imagine those are all C9 guys, right? Um, let's, let's take a look. I just literally forgot who these guys are. So let's pull up. Uh, it's a little embarrassing, right, to know who the players are? Yeah, so, well, FBI is actually from NRG. Uh, Jojo Young was from C9. 
and Tomo actually was from DIG. So we missed on a couple of spots. Very interesting. Hmm. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to pull up the sports projection site and see what our lineups look like with respect to um, uh, uniqueness. So for those of you who've never seen me demo this, well, let's put in uh, League of Legends. I hope it works. Oh, so we do we do have the uh, we do have this the uh, the contest. So we have to upload that ownership thing, that file, because it had my lineups in. So now we'll go to user entry investigation. And we're just going to put in all of our lineups. MB Habes. And let's just take a look at uniqueness, first of all. Um, all right, so not so great as far as uniqueness goes. Um, not too bad. So what we could do is look at user unique percentage. That's one thing we can do. So MB, Habes. Oh, look at that. We're actually rated. Oh, we were not rated. Hot. Shoot. See, all these guys are like under 35 dupes. 91% unique percentage. How do these? Let's see how these rank. Yeah, so we did not do very well with respect to our uniqueness on the slate. Uh, and behave, so yeah, only 25 or under five dupes and only nine uniques. So we did a very, very poor job, okay? Um, but what's also cool about this, we, we, we get to know who to root for here. So let's um, let's pull up uh, all my lineups again. We have them all here. So let's see what we have unique. So in the unique ones, we have the fly quest. Uh, with M NRG. So we have a couple with FlyQuest and NRG. We have a Team Liquid. So these are the ones we're rooting for. Cloud9, Dignitas. So that's at least we know what we're rooting for. So we actually do have some unique ones with, uh, with Cloud9, which is very interesting. I wouldn't have expected that. I mean, if I were going to get uniqueness. So I guess that's pretty much it. That's kind of what I want to do is just kind of like analyze things. And then we can actually look at the pick six, which is actually kind of fun. You want to see a, a nice live sweat? Let's pull this up. We're live in a, a jackpot pick five, the pick six here at Gulfstream. And I'll show you what we're live for. Ah, once my internet improves. So just to show you, there's one minute to post to the ninth race. And we have this bet here, a jackpot pick six, which is we have, we got through the first uh, five legs. Okay. We hit a 23 to one shot by himself in the sixth, seventh race. Um, and we are live with the two and the five in the last race here. And we are live for $103,388. If the two of the five win, we win 133,388. Now the odds are 28 to one and 12 to one. So it's not exactly trivial. It's not easy, but you can certainly take a look at it uh, and get a, a live sweat. No, it's not live because I'm recording this, but you know what I, I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to pause it so we get to the gate and then I'll start, start it up again. Actually, you know what I can do? I could pull up the um, the uh, the LCS uh, slate while it's getting started here. Oops. Uh, oh, LCS. So it didn't even start yet. They're still in the, I guess, even the band phase. They might not even be in the band phase yet. We'll get back to that, I guess. But this is a big one right off the bat. So we do have C9 coming right out of the gate. And uh, just to remind ourselves what we have. We do have a decent amount of that. But it's funny, I thought they would be a little more popular than they were, actually. Pull this up.
Let's go back to the horses for a second. Nope, still not, not, not in there yet. All right, so let's just remind us of who we have in this in this one. In the C9 game against IMT, do we have any IMT? Team stacks, only one stack of IMT. And for C9, how many four mans? We have, wow, we only have, well, we have seven four mans and five three mans for a total of 12 total. So about 33% exposure. They're about 30% owned, I guess, maybe a little bit less. So we're probably over the field on them. So we're probably rooting for them. Uh, we'll pull that up uh, as time goes on. But here, we're, this is the big sweat. You know, we have the two, 40 to one. I don't want to get into it, but two should not be 40 to one. And the five should not be 16 to one. But, you know, you know we're not betting, betting any more of it to win or anything like that. Um, the real annoying one is the eight, the preview, who is a uh, first-time starter. I, I'm pretty confident that the two and the five are the best, have the best winning chances of the horses that have started, but the sneak preview horse is taking money as the, uh, as a first time starter, which is always, uh, which is always a little uh, annoying, but it's not as if he's three to five or anything like that. So we will see. We'll give a full play-by-play -play here as it comes up. Two is going into the gate. Let's see what we have. First of all, it's a six and a half furlong race. And um, again, the internet is phasing out on me. Here we go. Have my buddy here, a partner, keep him updated. All right, so here we go. Six and a half furlongs. We need the two and the five for a hundred thousand. Uh oh. It looks as though the two broke through the gate, which is not good. Uh oh. So if they scratch him, just so you know, then we get the post-time favorite, but the post-time favorite is not going to pay us the pool. It would only pay us like 10000 So we do want him to, to take a shot and run with him. So they are looking at him uh, behind the gate. Now they're going to probably put him back in. Let's see. He is reloading. And they're off. All right, so the two is kind of uh, decently placed, sort of. Maybe not. So the three and the nine are battling here. We need the one to go up and kind of, kind of put pressure on these guys so that we can set it up for a closer. Five is... Uh, Getting good, pretty good rail position over there. Um, the two looks like he's struggling. So it looks like the five is going to be the one that has the shot. We will see. He's totally tucked in. I mean, if he's good enough, he's going to win. I mean, he's going to get through the rail. No, he's going to get through this two path here. Let's see. I mean, it's a, it, we got a shot. And there's that first time starter up on the outside. We're getting a really, really good trip through the rail here. All right, let's see if we can get past these guys. We've got a shot to kind of hang on here. Let's see. A 
Let's see, we got to hold off this guy on the outside. It's going to be tight. Let's see, you got to hold him off. Oh, man, this is going to be a real stress. It's going to be a, a bob. It's going to be close. Wow. I really don't know who won. We were on the inside. Let's see what happens. So we, it was the five against the nine. We have the five. Let's see. It's really close. I think we might have gotten it. I think, I don't know. Doesn't that look like the inside horse? Let's see. It's a big, uh, big photo for all the cheese. I mean, they're showing him, but let's just see. Are they going to put it up? That's a good sign. They're showing him. Let's see. Did they put it up there yet? They got him. So you guys have just watched. Let's make sure there's no uh, funny business. You just watched the live sweat of a hundred thousand dollar cash in horse racing. It's pretty cool, right? And all this started with the LCS sweat slate, uh, LCS sweat. Pretty cool. Well, it looks like they're looking at something here, but that has nothing to do with us, right? You just want to hang on there to watch the actual uh, thing upload here. Now, what I usually like to do in situations like this is I like to, um, whatchamacallit, just confirm that I have what I think I have here. So it's five, three, then three, five with four. So it's five, three with, uh, there's the four, right? I have, I have this, right? Totally have this. You don't believe it, right? But this was the key, this, this, I think we win. Fourth race, the two. Let's look at the results here for a minute. Let's see, fourth race, the five, right? Let's see, let's, let's, let's look at all these whole races. Fourth race, the, the five. Fifth race, the three, right? It was it fourth race, the five? Fifth race, the three. Sixth race, we had all, right? One, two, four, five, six, we had the five. Seventh race, the four paid $48. We had him by himself. Then two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then two, five. That's it. Looks like we got it. And it's official. Let's see. Ready? Let's refresh this. Let's go. We. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that.